change the band of time? What if I had the power to decide? This was the Russian entry at the Eurovision Song Contest. Dina Garipova singing What If. It did well. It came fifth. But the Russians are far from happy. And this is why. During the voting, Russia received the Eurovision equivalent of a slap on the face from its neighbour, Azerbaijan. No points for Russia from Baku, even though Russia had given Azerbaijan's song top marks. Now that's not very friendly. Pop, make way for politics. Today, when Russia and Azerbaijan's top diplomats met, Eurovision was on the agenda. And Baku made an embarrassing admission. Azerbaijan's foreign minister revealed that, according to the voting data he had, his country should have placed Russia second. Where did the votes go? How did they disappear? In this situation, we'll have to investigate to see what happened to the votes which citizens of Azerbaijan gave to the Russian participant. Russia thinks it knows they were stolen. Ten points were stolen from us. Well, not from us, but from our participant. This does not make one happy. We will agree on a unified course of action so that this outrageous action will not remain without an answer. In a statement, the European Broadcasting Union, the contest organiser, said that the results of the Azerbaijan voting had been confirmed by a notary, an independent observer from a major accountancy firm and the televote operator. It was sticking by the figures. Meanwhile, more accusations of Eurovision foul play, this time relating to the Belarusian entry. Singer Alyona Lanskaya didn't receive any points from Russia. Infuriated, today the president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, claimed the results had been falsified and that the contest was too politicised. Mind you, Alyona would have needed a lot more points to help her win. She finished in 16th place. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.